Is it working? Yes, it is. Uh, come on, man. Don't work on me. Oh, what the hell is up with the... Yeah, I think OBS is just drunk. Uh, I'm trying to get the capture card to work. Well, shit. Um, well, look, I guess the capture card has finally kicked the bucket. Finally died. Well, that's what we can do about it now. Damn, it's heating up real bad. Okay, I think I should stop using my capture card. Oh boy. All right. Time to mess with. Me. Time to. Time to do some technical difficulties because the capture card has finally decided to kill itself. Turns out, I guess, it can, I guess it's run its course, this budget capture card of mine. Uh, well, you can rest in peace. No, it wasn't an Elgato. It was like a really budget one I got for like 40 bucks. I actually listed them for like 30 bucks. Alright, I got an idea. I got an idea. It's a it's a desperate one. But we'll see if it works. Oh shit. Okay, it's updating. This is gonna be a laggy stream if this works. No, here's the thing. Persona wants tomorrow. Um, reason I want to do Judgment is because of the fact that we missed out on Saturday, which is essentially just play whatever I want day. They missed out on Sunday, which was Fire Emblem. And so what the plan is, is that... Hey, oh yeah, also, oh, hi JK. Is that today's going to be Judgment, tomorrow's going to be um, Persona, Wednesday's going to be Fire Emblem, there's going to be SMT. And then that's when we'll be on our new That's when we will be back to our regular schedule. For now, though, I'm just waiting for this to update. Why has this been take? Why is this glitching out on me? I will not know. It sucks, but Femblem on Wednesday. That's for sure. We'll do it on Wednesday. God damn it! I can't let my capture card finally went bust. That sucks. Okay, let's hope it works and doesn't lag stream. Because if it lags stream, it's gonna suck. If it doesn't work, then we'll do Fire Emblem, if that's the case. And my dog's barking. Oh boy. Oh wait, now I know why it's not working. Hold on. Oh, no wonder it's not working. My PS4 is not connected to the internet because I just don't want it to lag on stream. 
Okay, JK, calm down. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Camilla's not on screen. He can't be barking yet. Calm down, buddy. Can't find Olympia's five. No shit, my internet was off. Hold on. Okay. Okay, got it working. Cool, cool. Quit showing my name, dude. I don't want to show my name. There we go. Finally got it working. Oh, thank God. All right, now time to fix chat. Shh, quiet. Cutscene lawyer time. Oh, shit, there's no audio. Hold on. Let me fix that. There we go. We're good. Oh, you must be talking about Yagami. Absolutely. We appreciate any interest you might have. But it's just, uh... We are using the remastered version, which messes with a lot of the filters in the game. So, you're going to have to tolerate all the weird filters. Uh, no. And Must there's a so spider hanging nice on my arm. Hey, buddy, star. how you doing? Right? You just start so chilling. Yeah, all right there, buddy? Sorry speaking. Yes, you are. Get off my arm. Yes. Yagami is currently employed by our firm. Yeah, it was just a spider just chilling on my arm. Made a little web and everything. Same bullshit all day. I guess everyone wants a lawyer who can Ah, uh, yes, I see uh, you found the Yagami nerdy sensei. lawyer chick. Dude, I would love to get a pet spider. I would love to, but unfortunately hey, my family throw me a so. bone. I never would have won without a hand from these two. Of course you wouldn't have. 99% of these cases end up in convictions. <laughs> oh shit, it does. It makes Usually... an acquittal a big deal, even if it was just luck. Talk about a lawyer being a hero. It makes even a former gangster look good. I <laughs> guess so. Wipe that grin off your face. You think you're better than us? I'm no saint. Shh. Could have fooled me. You know, you're not gonna win all of them. Trust me, pal. Oh no, dude, not... here's the thing. He would you win them if he actually did, was trying. And message. if you know about this game's story, then you know he wasn't hmm. trying there. Well, Shintani's available right now. Yeah, you bet. He's more experienced. Uh, yeah, he is. Mostly. That? Now I'm getting tossed your goddamn leftovers. Shut up, man. Okay, and you're sure? He's as skilled as they come, trust me. But well, that no. just can't be right. He hasn't won any cases. You know how rare that is. Oh my god. Salty. Yes. Yes. And you're absolutely sure. I understand. I'll tell him. Oh no. Something bad just happened. Who was that? Another call for Yagami Sensei. Big one. But the client is Shinpei Okubo. Mm. Huh? I'm not sure I believe that. Ogobo is a free man now. Not anymore. He's been arrested for murder. Oh, come on. come on. We already proved he was innocent, right? It's a new case. He's being processed right now. Ah, oh, Christ. What they told me is that he stabbed his girlfriend Emmy to death, set the apartment on fire. 
Okubo would never do that. Hey, you don't have the balls. Stabbing Emijan. I just don't understand it. Okubo. How could he? Did they change their VA after the game? Or is it because of like character development reasons that they're different? Oh, murder weapon, murder weapon. Oh, you know, from a game from 2019, this game looks great. That's bad. That's real bad. That is real, really bad. That day, my career as a lawyer died alongside Emi Chan. Both murdered by Shinpei Okubo. And Shinpei is voiced by Yuri Lowenthal, who we will barely hear in this game. <laughs> Damn, it'd be rough on these Camarocho streets, man. It'd be rough. Come in, Kaito-san. Are you getting close yet? Yep. Right by the Don Quixote. Crispin right Freeman, now. I forgot he voiced Kaito. Just about see our man. <laughs> I forgot Crispin Freeman voiced Knight Kaito. Fucking Itachi. Let's go. <laughs> Sayo, my beloved, I shut this. Almost like a pro. <laughs> wow, thanks. I always dreamed of being a professional stalker. Yes, Crispin That's Freeman. Right. I'm sure you'd love that. You gotta admit, this is crazy, though. A detective tailing another detective. Oh, I forgot. This game has a lot of tailing missions. I forgot. One of the things I don't like about Judgment, there's a lot of tailing. Very annoying, but the town is small enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, he's drunk. You can tell by his face. Look, his face is red. He's drunk. The fuck are you doing? What? You want to die, bitch? You want to die, bitch? What's going on back there, buddy? Uh, looks like I need to teach these punks a little lesson. Need to? Didn't you tell me to keep my head down? <laughs> hey, who you call punks, you homeless piece of shit? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Kaito. I'll see you soon, okay? So much for being careful. Okay, JK. Well, it was nice having you here for a bit. <laughs> Get a load of him! Man, you seeing this shit? Dude, not gonna lie, I'd probably laugh too just seeing a fucking hobo getting like <laughs> the fucking okay. kung fu Buckle stance. Alright, so I'm gonna become a murder hobo. Let's do this. So weird. It's gonna be so weird trying to combo. I'm so used to lost judgment combos. Yeah, this is pre-juggling. The dra they didn't figure out how to add in techno elements into the dragon engine yet until like yuck until Lost Judgment. Wait, oh, actually not Lost Judgment. Um, Fist of North Star Lost Paradise. Oh, that's a goodie. Probably we'll stream that one someday because that's a goodie right there. Underrated in my opinion. Murder hobo.
Oh, grab him. <laughs> oh, yeah, heat actions. Hey, buddy. <laughs> okay, totally did not put that, give that man hardcore CTE right there. Totally just did not give this man hardcore CTE, but hey, what can you do? Yeah, that's pretty- you mean driving, not drinking? <laughs> what I also like is that how this man suddenly doesn't have a beard anymore. That's the funny part, too. Look, guy doesn't have the beard anymore. Yagami doesn't have the beard. <laughs> you lost the beard. I'm all done. Kaito san, where's our guy going? On his way towards Pink Street. Crowd's thinning out. Get your ass over here. Got it. And make it quick. Any minute now, he's gonna figure out I'm shadowing him. He shaved within five minutes. He shaved mid fade. That's what happened. He just took out the razor during one of the many heat actions he's gonna do. The dub isn't bad. It's just that we had shitty um, voice direction. What if we just give them good voice direction? And then ever since uh, like, uh, Lo uh, Lost Paradise or Lo Judgment, they kept the English voice acting. And it's amazing. And I love it. Sounds pretty unique. They take the mole on his face. Five o'clock shadow. Just to... It's the kind of face that someone's not used to this cinema I feel intimidated by. Okay, time to see how anyone fits the bill. Where's the hat? Let's see. Where's the jacket? Almond shaped eyes. Has a stubble. Has a mole. Found our guy. Found him. He has, has the best dub man. because he got Mark Sorry. Hamill as Majima. It's amazing and I love it. Oh yeah, I forgot. They didn't. Majima didn't call him Kiryu Chan. They called him Kazuma Chan in the original dub, right? <laughs> Remember correctly. Oh shit. Uh oh, that's bad. God, these telling missions sucked ass. I hate them so much, dude. What I find funny is that they said they wanted to like implement more adventure game elements to this game. Hey, hey but you. because of the way the game's designed, they couldn't exactly do that. Time you pay all the rent you owe. I just need a little longer, okay? Just one more week. Yeah, I you remember this part act lasting a while. Very you. annoying. Yes, I assure you. It better be. Bye for now, then. Hey boy. That was close. Yeah, that was close. I almost got got shot or some shit. Oh yeah, it's Japan. They don't have guns. They have samurai swords and katanas. Well, never mind. It is a katana. I'm an, I'm an idiot. Oh god. Oh shit. Okay, need to back up a bit. Just have him in the camera. Oh boy. Come on, man. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. Time to chill out. Huh? Someone call me? Okay, there we go. That's close. Come on, buddy. Be stupid. Walk over here. Come on. Ah. He's heading for the champion district. Oh, great. We're never gonna find him in that maze. Probably why he's going there. 
Thankfully, we can always follow him from above. You think Kamurocho is just Japan, yeah. Japanese Gotham you. City? Considering the fact there's so much stuff. shit going down there. Like, they have a building that blows up every few oh, years. A bunch of weird politicians that try to take over the town. Or Yakuza groups that take over yeah, the town. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kamurocho is just Japanese Gotham City. That's pretty much what it is. I mean, why do you, why do you think Kiryu always hates coming back here? It makes sense. Like, he hates coming back here, man. Every single time shit goes down, it's always a Kamurocho. I wonder why. This place probably has the Gotham curse or something. Yeah, and Yagami's Robin. He's... No, Yagami is Robin turned... Um, is Robin turned Nightwing. That's essentially what it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Yagami is basically just Nightwing. T Robin turned Nightwing. Wait, what I also kind of find it funny is that in Gaiden, spoiler alert, apparently Kiryu met Kaito, which is shocking. Just ducked into an empty lot, Kaito san. Dead end. You follow him, we blow our cover. What do you think he's doing in there? Probably meeting someone he doesn't want to be seen with. Makes sense. Pigeons up. Can you see it? Hold on. Well, I mean, of course, my name is Joker. He's voiced by Mark Hamill. What do you expect, uh -huh. dude? <laughs> Alright. Where's this bird? Where you at, brother? There you are. Hey. Wait, hold on, I heard a kitty. Where are you? Kitty! That's no pigeon, that's a cat. I know, I just want to look at the cat. Look at that high rendered cat. Physics. That's cool. Okay. What the? There's the jackass smoking right there. What's he doing in a place like this? Let's see, anything else? The bird's up there. There it is. Hold on. I'll send a feed to your phone. How so? <laughs> oh, there's one for all the, all the cats. Yeah, up. <laughs> yeah, no. Screw that. Hey, Kaito san. Keep it steady. You've been practicing? Now is not a good time, talk. You've got to concentrate. Well, there's another guy in there with him. So he is meeting someone. Hey, I know that guy. It's a bookie for horse races. Trying to gamble his way to paying off debt, huh? Because that always works. Yeah, well, if they came all the way out here just to meet, he must have the cash on him. Mm -hmm. We'll get what we need if we move now. You remember what we're doing here, right? Collecting the debt from detective officers. Oh, I get it. This is our chance. Just All right, relax. time to jump. Let me do my thing, okay? You got it, Todd. Don't fuck it up. Well, what makes you think I will, man? Come on, let's go jump this dude. One man jumping, here we come. <laughs> nice night, huh, detective? <laughs> He's scared. Huh? I hear the bookies in Kamurocho make some pretty good deals. You win 10% more, you lose 10% less. They make it sound so enticing. Maybe I should get in on it. <laughs> he got found out. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Don't you need your money? <laughs> God, I I'm love how smug Yagami is. Before you lose it on another <laughs> He's just horse. playing with his food at this point. It's so just so funny. Thug to collect. Should I be impressed you found me? A thug? Well, that's not very nice. You and I are in the same business. You're a detective? Great so. I hear you're pretty hard to get a hold of. That's why the people you owe came to me. Look, I know you have the money on you. can't get out of this. Just do us both a favor and pay up. Don't put up a fight. <laughs> well, you're right. 
I have the money. But look, I'll pay everything back after I win big on this next race. Just wait, okay? That's what they all say. Are you serious? I didn't track you down just so you could... Maybe next time! Whoa! Oh, kidding me. A po How the hell did you fit a pocket flare in there? Okay. He's making a run for it. Oh, I s oh, I see how it is. I bet. Okay. Um. Damn it. Okay, I see this man chose violence. Okay, I see how this is gonna go down. This man proceeded to choose violence over peace. Okay. Um, he's gonna regret that in about a minute or two. So, um, get ready, chat, to see a man get absolutely blasted through a wall. The map. Dude, come on, man. You're not. Don't make me chase you all over the map, man. You don't need to make me chase you. <laughs> gotcha, bastard. Fuck off! <laughs> you need to learn when to quit. Oh, God. Shut up. I have it all figured out. I'll get the money! Man, just casually uses kung fu. Okay. This man screams he's next to delinquent. Oh, never mind, that's spoilers. Never mind. <laughs> Yagami definitely wasn't the Crow's manga. <laughs> yeah, this man was definitely the Link when he was growing up. Broken neck. Uh, let's see. Let's 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 do let's do an, an assessment on the injuries right now. Currently getting stomped out. St uh, kicked his neck. <laughs> Here's the thing, Kamurocho in Yakuza is basically just Japanese Florida, that's what it is. There's the weirdest people there. It's just Japan. it's just Japanese Florida, that's what Kamurocho is. A lot of stuff happens here. Yokohama's Ohio. <laughs> okay, let's see. I broke his neck twice. He's gonna need a gonna need a cast for that. Um, this sustained multiple bruises and is possibly internally bleeding somewhere. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a Florida man attack, all right. What's your name? Oh, yeah, someone bored just Texas. <laughs> so, let's be civil here. You can't deny it. Kamurocho is just this Japanese Florida. That's what it is. And Yokohama's um, Ichi, Ichi, Ichi show is just um, Japanese Ohio. Just the weird, because the weirdest shit happens there. Okay, okay, Itachi, chill, dude. <laughs> chill out, man. No shit. <laughs> oh, dude, his nose. Dude, you already broke his nose, man. Chill. Jesus. Chill. <laughs> oh, God, man. I fucking love Kaito, man. He's such a unit. <laughs> Listen here, asshole. I'm gonna sue your ass into the goddamn ground. You see this? You broke my fucking nose. <laughs> Don't be so melodramatic. I think we both know who threw the first punch. Oh, no way I'm gonna let that slide. Just you watch, you'll see the court's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, dude. You don't say that to an ex-lawyer, dude, because you're gonna get screwed. Because they know they know the law better than you, and they will use whatever it takes to screw you. You won't know what hit you. Yagami with the, the with the um, domestic assault riz. <laughs> Oh, 
Com Road Show. No better place for a night out. A neon city. But the brighter the lights, the darker the shadows. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The whole town's run by the toughest Yakuza family out there. The Tojo clan. You say that, but in but in a year they're gonna end up getting, you know, destroyed and dismantled. In a year. See what I mean? This place is just Japanese Florida. Look at this! This is Japanese Florida. Word is they met on some sketchy website. Never even seen each other's faces. Uh Okay, they're just playing Mirror's Edge, cool. Yeah, the cops are not built for that. They're they ate too many donuts. That's why they're not built for it, dude. The only thing anyone really cares about in Kamurocho these days, though, is the murders. Oh, cause there's a lot of those. I mean, there's one every few cup. Oh shit, that's bugging. Okay, we're good. I think it's the Tojo clan making some kind of power move in the ongoing turf war. Okay, that was better lag, but we're good. Ah, oh, Christ! This one's missing its eyes too. That's not the only thing. Though. Okay, Matt Mercer, how you doing? Them were missing their eyes. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. <laughs> I work alongside my partner Kaito-san. Funny enough, he's ex Tojo. I mean, isn't most ex-Yakuza that can fight like him ex-Tojo? Because, you know, they realize they're better than the Tojo clan, mostly. I'm Takayuki Yagami. Used to be a lawyer. But I put that life behind me three years ago. As for my badge... It's barely even a decoration at this point. Yet, he manages to become a lawyer twice after retiring. Supposedly retiring. Which is funny, because like, oh, I'm, I'm I'm no longer a lawyer. Oh, all of a sudden, I could just join back up and become a lawyer again. <laughs> it's just like, bro, this man is like, oh, I'm a detective. Now I'm a lawyer. Now I'm a detective. Now I'm a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, it should have all the bonus goodies. Let's see. What can I decorate with? Jack and shit. Okay. Cool. Yes, quit. The doll journal. Let's just hope we don't get jumped by some random dude. It's just Kamurocho after all. So hopefully we don't get screwed over by a random dude who decides to try to be Japanese Florida man. And yeah. I need to remember when GTA 6 GTA 6 trailer came out in the j <laughs> real life. <laughs> Florida Joker just came out and just tried to sue Rockstar for using his likeness, when in reality he was just a moron. Of course, I got, of course, I got the black dude running the popo, <laughs> selling chicken, sh selling, selling chicken too. You really are now finding the stereotypes, man. All right, time to, time to buy some good shit. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's get on with it. Oh boy, cutscene. Something's on. Hold on there, pal. Oh great. Yep, you came about my knee. Doriaki, yeah? Sorry, but they're mine now. Dude, you really gonna jump me uh, for like Doriaki? <laughs> Look, I've been after one of those things for days now. I just bought the last fucking box. Come on, man. Don't be like that. that. Right, boys? Wow. Well, can't argue with that logic. What was that, smartass? Alright. Okay. I Look, sir, I'm not going to let you buy my kneecaps, so would you kindly just fuck off?
Aha, fake ya. <laughs> yes, I, I'm aware of that. Okay. Got yeah, buying that. I'm buying that. Oh! Sagani Patriarch, right? Know what I'm trying to say, asshole? Hey, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. Oh! <laughs> this right here just became a matter of Matsugane family honor. I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> serial killer off the hook seriously wow that's incredible <laughs> right damn shame seeing talent like that i know right it's too. amazing huh. totally <laughs> get this though first thing that killer did when he got loose stabbed his girlfriend to death can you believe that <laughs> Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass, talk. Not yet, no. Oh, okay, this is awkward. So <laughs> Here, this is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Good. You're finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Yeah, thanks to you. Hmm. Anyway, how's Kaito? He's, do oh, he's doing fine, brother. He's doing just fine. Asking him something. How long is he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. But, uh, I can look the other way since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugani san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Okay, uh, that was kind of awkward, but okay, I guess we'll have to just deal with it. Oh boy. Although they did keep the English Jap the Japanese dubbing for the enemies, which is just weird, but hey, what can you do? Aha, scared you. <laughs> hey! Hey, you know what? You know what? Force my hand. Get over here. You force my hand. Broken nose, broken jaw, um, pretty much in a coma. Okay. What about you, buddy? Broken j um, fractured jaw. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. This is perfectly fine. You totally don't, don't have large amounts of CTE in your head, but you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. You can just walk it off, brother. Uh, people hit you in the face with, like, fucking drawers all the time, so might as well just walk it off, man. You walked off to worse. Look, Doriaki. Extra fancy. Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami-san. 
Oh, I didn't see you there. You, uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. So I hear you're good. Passed the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, oh. Yagami. Evening, Gendo-sensei. Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Gendo-sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Shintani-sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy, though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you have. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda-sensei. I got you some dorayaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. <laughs> Sorry. Did you eat them all? Yep, she did. <laughs> all but half. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> bit of a glutton in the bit of a glutton in the age in the in the department, don't isn't she? So what are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda Sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep doing this to yourself, Yagami? You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Kamurocho was a safe place. Uh huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. And why is that? Take a good look at me, Kenda sensei mm Hmm? These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes. But it wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I never want to deal with something like that again. So, have any work for me? The guy's got to stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy-chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got, just... Give me something. Uh, how about a divorce case? I have some evidence that needs collecting. It'll be the usual deal. Stake out a love hotel, snap some photos, tail the guy, dig through some trash. You in? I'm in. A job's a job. Uh, I give up. Divorce proceedings, yay! Later. Yes. Mm hmm Okay. Yagami-san, that was Shintani-sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? And this is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. It's been years since we had a murder case. Shintani-sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? there all the time just making sure okay so we went from salt uh, divorce proceedings to solving a murder case ain't that a way of just rising up in the world Yagami you sure are rising I like the shield hero, because shield hero's getting fucked over, but hey, what can you do? Hey, Tuck. Shintani Sensei's in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. 
<laughs> Surprised to see me. Hello. How are you? Who's that talk? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Hmm. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on. You called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Oh, and I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Let's call it a business expense. <laughs> oh, God. Yagami is such a dick, and I love him. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura from the Matsugane family. That is an old phone. I ran into him earlier, actually. Take it he's your client? Yep. Got hauled in earlier. You're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugane patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda Sensei is the go to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat then? Genda Sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hama. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. Yeah, I suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown. I mean, you're liter you literally just said your father is, or your father figure is a Yakuza. A, Yakuza. a Kansai guy. Part of the Kyore clan. They oh found his boy. Body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is the guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Oh boy. Cops think Hammer is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here, so the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. This third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly giving the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on. Even if they have to force it through. Jesus. Hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Clever thing in his reward. As conversation progresses, you can. Oh, I remember this. I sucked at this. <laughs> what has Hamura said about it? Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? Why did the police arrest Hama? After Hamura, of all people, two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are, this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message, and as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight. Well, I mean it. Yeah, it makes sense, but I'm guessing there's security considering the fact you're a detective, you need to get things right. So it makes sense that, you know, that these choices are a thing with the gimmick. So <laughs> proper critical thinking is rewarded. So it makes sense why they have it like this. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a shame you can't exactly control Yagami or make him any way you want. Hiccups. Oh, God. But yeah. And that's why I say, I, if th this is why I mentioned, uh, I think one of the Rido streams, the Rido stream, that if they were to do a Rido styled Yakuza game, or a Yakuza styled Rido game, they could definitely just get the Judgment team to make it because they have experience making detective like games. So that can basically just allow them to go ham with Rido's personality, and just make them the way they want them with these questions. It would work perfectly fine. You go on ahead. We got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. <laughs> you fight like <laughs> um, the great, the ancestor of like all uh, the the So Amon, <laughs> like the grandpa, the great grandpa. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Leaving already, talk. I don't. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. 
Tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. Although here's gonna be the problem. It's that they're probably gonna want to make Raido talk, which Hmm Which is gonna be iffy. Yes, they give him a voice in like other media and like all like a few other games, but Making him kind making him talking in his own game is just gonna be kinda iffy. Oh, that's oh you're feeling tired, man? Well don't worry about it. I don't think it's gonna be a long stream anyways. Because um I'm kinda tired myself. Because I was busy editing a the Mega Man stream up all night, so I'm kinda just like running on fumes here, so this might not be a really long stream. Probably might go to like the two hour mark. But other than that, yeah. That's pretty much where I was gonna fart's gonna go. You know. We just keep running into each other too. Talk. Why the long face? Hammerasan. Uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. And I'm glad you said yes, Shintani Sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda Sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point. While Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. No, because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Better. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. <laughs> this the balls on this man. Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? The balls on this All man are huge. time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. Then that Okubo guy, well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, talk. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. You wanted that precious acquittal so bad you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose, right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emmy Terasawa's parents. Ooh, boy. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face them. <clears throat> um. Think, uh, oh, boy. We could maybe get back to the case. Sure. Why not? You good to go? Damn it. I guess it's just, this is just part of the job. I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyori clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani? Ah, so... Yes. Yeah, they're not saying a thing. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. It is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? Who's the detective in charge of the case? Kuroiwa, from Organized Crime. Shintani Sensei is probably real familiar with him. I am. More so because he's one of those brutes with a badge. Ah, uh, he's one Pretty of those. Pretty sure the Curie murders are his case. I can't stand him. Guy doesn't give a rat 
his ass about Yakuza. Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kiori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. Is that so? Who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. What? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep. Amor is one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was abducted. Just so you just roughed him up a little. Okay, right no CTE too. involved. A few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club. And he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you too if I was a cop. Let's talk about the alibi. You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? Apparently between two and three in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? No, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. <coughs> oh, man. Uh, well, yeah, I asked anything, so I might as well just go about the victim. What do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run of the mill, Kyori grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he did. I wonder if we're ever gonna get a judgment three, control. considering a while back when Sega and um, Yagami's actor had a bit of a falling name, out. So there were two of them. How many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. Why didn't you guys take Kume's friend in too? <laughs> we tried. Bastard ran like the goddamn wind, though. All right. Well, I guess that's all we wanted to ask. I think I've heard enough for now. We'll get going. Yagami, head over to Sonico 10 for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later. All right. So we got a murder case. Hammer wasn't there. Hamara says he dies at two and two and three in the morning. He he, but he left the place to go to a sauna before twelve at midnight. And the cops think he was the one that did it, even though he left at twelve midnight. Which, oh my kidding, I'm just playing along. I I'm just playing along. I've played this game before. I know what's gonna happen. I'm just sort of role playing here. Oh hello. Whoa. Oh. Oh! Bruce Lee up in this bitch. Let's go. Okay, but where were we? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we got a murder case where things are not adding up, essentially. And the cops are just too lazy to deal with it. So now we got to... No, so it's now our problem to deal with it. Oh, boy, this is going to get tricky. It's on a go tag. This is where Homer says he was on the night of the crime. Let me talk to the bastard. Excuse me, you work here? Yeah, come on in, friend. Actually, I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, sure, brother. Sure, what do you need? I'm here about a murder. The Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. 
Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. And you are a reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? I'll tell you the same thing I told the cops. I make it a point not to remember anyone specific, you know? <laughs> I see. This old man didn't remember Hamura's face. He went out an alibi. You get a lot of customers in and out, huh? Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in, wait for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning, huh? And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. Hmm, if I can prove that Hammer was here on the night of the crime, that will solve everything. There supposedly wasn't any promising evidence to point to an alibi. You guys don't have a security camera? Something we could check, see who was here? We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy and all. It was already long gone by the time the cops came around. Got it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> Okay, investigation time. Let's do this. Investigate Sonic Go Tab. Alright, let's do this. You seriously expect me to remember something from that long ago? I'm trying to work here. Get lost. Okay, okay, asshole. Um Who else to ask? There's gotta be someone else. Is that a re oh wait a minute a hobo hey brother hey you have a sec I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic 10 on the night of December 3rd nobody pays attention to me so I'm not gonna pay attention to them <sighs> great they're no help at all um you're back sorry I mean look at me when you get this old you're gonna have trouble remembering faces too yeah, until I say the right thing and give you the right, the right, and give you the right thing. Oh, hello, you. Excuse me. I'm looking for info on a yakuza who stopped by Sonico Ten on the night of December third. Did you see anything? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's tons of yakuza around here. Though now that you mention it. I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Guess this isn't, guess this isn't much of a lead, then. Thanks for your help. Okay, well, at least we know where to go now. Well, kind of. Well, at least we know what to, uh, have an idea of what just happened. So yeah, let's just go home. God, how much is there? Dude, that's enough, man. That's enough. Dude. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> bro, that's enough. Oh, oh, thank God it's over. Launch edition stamina X.
That's cool. Nothing much here. So nothing new, essentially. So essentially, I'm just cheating now. <laughs> well, getting the sensei give you any work? Yep. yep. Probably <laughs> thanks to the Doriaki. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence for a murder trial. You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about civil suits now. Criminals don't pay the bills, right? Well, this one comes from Matsugane-san. Turns out Hamura went and got himself arrested. What the hell? For one of those Kyori clan murders. You mean that eye gouging shit? Mm hmm. Just dropped by the jail to see him. He claims he's innocent, though. Huh. Crazy. <laughs> it is crazy, brother. Not interested? I can't say I blame you after what Hamra did. Booting you from the family was a low blow. No you shit. Want, I'll handle it solo. Look, don't worry about it. I'm the one who fucked up, not him. Either way, we've got the case. Count me in. <laughs> Good. Hmm. Well, I should get some rest. I wonder. Doesn't this man have a TV anywhere? That's the music player, that's his arcade cabinet. And this is his desk that he barely uses, probably watches YouTube right there. Um, that's probably his bed. God, that's uncomfortable. Oh boy. Yagami, you should have stayed a lawyer, man. You could have gotten paid the big bucks and had a nice beautiful house. You realize how bad it is to get a house in this economy? You were hooked on the job, man. You could have gotten paid more. You were a fucking lawyer, man. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, well, it's not like you can't really... Well, morality, am I right? And when you become a lawyer, that's when morality goes to die. So, um, for those that are still here, um, and those that are new, I would really appreciate if you like to subscribe. Uh, like, subscribe if you like the stream. And like the stream as well, if you think you enjoyed it. For those watching after the stream, uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe and waiting for your time. Like the video, in like the stream in case you enjoyed it. And leave me in the comments if you have any criticisms or things you want to say nice to me about the stream. And so with that, uh, this is one of the shorter streams that we ever had. So um, I'm going to get ready to go to bed. And uh, yeah, see y'all later. Bye-bye.